This is CGTN, China Global Television Network. Sixteen-year-old Swedish climate activist Greta Thunberg said on Friday she would continue to pressure United Nations member states to act on climate change. Thunberg, who was flanked by her U.S. and Mexican counterparts, arrived in Manhattan after a two-week journey from the United Kingdom on a zero-carbon emission sailboat met with UN General Assembly President Maria Fernanda Espinosa. Thunberg is expected to participate in meetings on climate change at the United Nations in September, including the global summit with world leaders yeah I think this UN summit needs to be some kind of breaking point tipping point where people start to realize what is actually going on and um, so we have high expectations in you too and all member states to to deliver and uh, we are going to try to do our part to make sure that they have all eyes on them and they have really the pressure on them so they cannot continue to ignore it. So on September 20th, it is the Friday before world leaders are coming into New York City for the United Nations Climate Summit. So these demands are directly at those in power who are inside the United Nations Climate Summit and we will continue to take climate action till they hear us. Old Kenyan Elian Wanjiku has made it her life's mission to plant as many trees as possible. She also wants to spread the message about the importance of combating climate change. CGTN's Wokista Nyabo spent an afternoon with Kenya's youngest climate change ambassador. I just, I just don't know when... The nine year old warrior hands every child a plant, and then together they head to the school farm to plant the trees. Every tree planted makes a difference. Bit by bit, and in their little way, the students are helping to improve Kenya's forest cover and fighting climate change. And it all started with a school project at Elian's school. When I was four years old in kindergarten, I did a project on heroes, and these heroes included Martin Luther King, Henry Wanyoike, Uhuru Kenyatta, Wanga Mathai, and Mahatma Gandhi. So I really fell in love with Wanga Mathai's tree planting. One tree became 10 trees and then 30. To date, she has planted over 1,500 trees. But it isn't enough. Elian wants to do more. The planet, she rightfully believes, is under threat. You know why we should be focusing on the future? is because we should be knowing for the next generation, I think that we should be giving them oxygen. During the One Planet Summit held in Nairobi earlier in the year, Kenya's president, Uhuru Kenyatta, shared the country's vision of achieving 10% forest cover by 2022. This is part of efforts to address the challenge of environmental degradation and climate change. It is a massive task, and planting trees is just one approach. As Elian has gained recognition for her work, she has received invites to speak to world leaders about utilizing artificial intelligence to combat climate change. Being able to predict the Amazon fire 10 years before it happens, just imagine that. You already have people in place to save the forest even before the fire happens. Being able to predict a hurricane coming years, years in advance and then on top of that, using technology to solve social issues. As technology advances, so will the approaches to environmental conservation. But today, Eliane is satisfied with leading a group of students from a nearby public school in planting trees. I've learned a lot from her, and from today, I want to plant trees too. Like her inspiration, Eliane is doing her little thing to change the world. 
In her time, the late Professor Wangari Madai founded the Green Belt Movement, which has to date planted tens of millions of trees. Her legacy lives on through young environmentalists such as Elian, who are continuing the work that she started. Wilkisanyabwa CGTN in Kiambu, Kenya. All right, so Elian Wanjiku, Kenya's nine-year-old eco-warrior, joins us in our studios to further discuss her efforts to combat climate change. Elian, it's a pleasure to meet you. Introduce me to your friends. Who are they? Okay, so this is Mr. Cuddles, then this is Brownie, and then this is Coffee. Okay, so nice to meet you, Mr. Cuddles and friends. So, <laughs> so nine years, Elian, and here you are doing tackling such a serious topic such as climate change. Most of your peers would actually be busy playing with friends like Mr. Cuddles. What inspired you to take on this journey? Okay, so when I was four years old in kindergarten, I did a project on heroes, and these heroes included Martin Luther King, Andrew Wanyoike, Uhuru Kenyatta, Martin Nightingale, um, Barack Obama, Nelson Mandela, and Mahatma Gandhi, and Wangari Maathai. So Wangari Maathai is tree planting, so I really fell in love with the Wangai Mathai's tree planting. So, uh, so I initially started planting trees at home. So one tree became 10, then 10 became 30, then 30 became 50, and now I have planted 1,538 trees. That's incredible. Thank you. So how has your experience been like? I mean, do people take you seriously, or do they look at you with Mr. Cuddles and think, oh, well, she's just a nine-year-old. What does she know about climate change? No, like some people take me seriously and some people don't. Like, you know, it's who people are. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. But what have you enjoyed the most about your journey? My journey, what I've enjoyed is that, ah, um, how can I say this? Um, I really enjoy, like, life. I mean, you know, you have good things happening in your life and then you also have bad things. And also, every successful person is not very successful in their life. So, yeah, my journeys have been nice and, you know, complicated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what are you most proud of? What do you think, when you look back, since when you started, these are your greatest achievements? My greatest achievement is actually being on JKL at also, and then also on TV. And then my greatest achievement is just being who I am, like um, what I'm going to be in the future. Okay. Talk to me a little bit about your friends. What do they think about you every time you say, well, I'm going to address these people about climate change or I'm going to be interviewed in studio? What do they say? Okay, so some are jealous, like very few, like only two, three or four. And like most of them are not jealous. They're right. really helping me. I have one friend that really likes me and she really, you know, wants to contribute with me. And then my mom also likes her. So she said the dad also likes my mom with make some friends and um, so my mom lets me me and my mom let her kind of join me in some conferences and some meetups. When you talk to them about climate change and you explain what this is and how we can combat it, do they understand? Sometimes they do but not exactly because they don't like study on climate change like and they don't really focus on that so sometimes they don't but sometimes they do. Okay. I make it easy for them. Right. So what's your message to the world? My message to the world is plant as many trees as you can and uh, make it as possible and make it like as an influence to other people. Like, do whatever you can to at least save the world. Elian, it's a pleasure to have you in studio. Thank you. Thank you very much. Elian Wanjiku in studio with us. She's just nine-year-old folks, nine years old. That's quite incredible.